Well, thanks for joining me again. Um, in this episode, we're going to be installing two 200 watt solar panels onto the roof of my van, and I decided to mount them on uh, uni struts. Um, it's an excellent way if, if ever you want to um, remove the panels if there's something wrong with them or you want to change them for a different size it's really easy to be able to remove them from the uni struts um, so this was going to be my preferred uh, method of mounting I couldn't put them at the sides where the uh, where the channels are for the mount roof bars because of the size of the panels so I couldn't the brackets were either an inch too short one way or an inch too long the other um, so I've drilled a hole in the roof here and now I've put the bolt in and I'm just jamming a screwdriver in there just to hold the spanner in and then we'll go downstairs and put the nut on. Now you can see I've done that, I put four screws in, uh, so four bolts, sorry. I'm using M8 bolts and nuts and I'm using nylock nuts on the insides just to give it a good... Um, a good way of fixing it so it doesn't come off basically I don't want them nuts coming loose so here I'm just drilling a pilot hole in the panel and then I'm going through with a 10 mil drill and I'm using the same M10 bolts and nuts to mount the bracket putting a washer on first and then the bracket and then I'm going to be using um, a normal nut on the back followed by a, a nylock nut again um, the last thing I want is these panels coming off while I'm driving down the road um, once these are mounted um, underneath these are going to be very difficult to get to the nuts to check to see whether they're tightened you can tighten the ones on the uni struts but these you're not going to be able to get at so I want to make sure that these are absolutely rock solid and no, no way they're going to come off so that's the nylock nut. Just tighten that up as well, make sure it's nice and tight. And these are the uh, the connectors for the two into one um, for the panels. Uh, it's two positives into one and two negatives into, into one negative. And this is fixing the panels to the uni struts using these, these special channel nuts. Just getting it into position and we'll tighten these down and we'll, we'll check these nuts periodically just to make sure that they, uh, they don't come undone now I'm putting the uh, uh, the flange on for the cables um, just going to drill a hole in the roof just put, making sure the position's correct so I'm not going through any of the strengthening bars under the roof um, it's quite a large hole cutter but you'll see in a second that I've, I'm using a piece of trim that I saved from, the, um, from one of the windows that I'm going to use to go around the edging just to make sure that the cables are not are rubbing against the sharp edges of the van You can use a smaller hole cutter and put a rubber grommet in, um, but I didn't have any rubber grommets, so I just did it this way. I'm just trying to get rid of all the little, little bits of metal. It's important that you get rid of them all. Because like I've said in the previous video, you will, you will rot your roof. And don't do what I'm doing here. There's a good chance you're going to cut the end of your thumb off doing that. Uh, what I'm doing here, I'm just scoring halfway down through this um, this edging strip, just so it makes it easier to bend it around inside the hole. And I'll trim that off where it's, uh, I think is the uh, the correct position. And even though I've measured it, it's still too short. So I have to put another piece on. That's the problem with being a dipstick. You get things wrong quite a few times. So 
it's just a matter of putting another piece in there's no way this has come off because it's it's got a metal band on the inside which grips the uh, little grips onto the roof so there's no way that this will work loose and that's it in and now it's just a case of putting the cables through the flange and you just push these through and then when you're happy with where the position you just tighten up those those nuts on the end there and it tightens the uh, the rubber grommet on the inside down onto the cable which makes it watertight when you're putting these on you need to install it um, with the the openings for the cables to the rear of your van that way any water that's coming down the the roof as you're driving along will just flow straight over the top and just feed the cables down through the hole now we're going to give the roof a good clean with some um, isopropyl al alcohol, rubbing alcohol make sure there's no dirt there so we get a good good clean surface to add the uh, silicon to and again I'm using Sikaflex 512 um, it's good stuff it sets rock solid this thing it's a really good adhesive and sealer so just put a bead all the way around you don't need masses it's just a a thin bead around it and place it down into position and now I've got a solution here of just a couple of drops of washing up liquid in some water that's a dish soap for you folks in America um, and I'm just got, I've got a little uh, well, it's a little butter knife actually um, you just need something that's with a curved edge to it and just spray that as well with the solution and then just go around and take off the excess and just try and make a neat job as you possibly can you don't need masses on here you don't need to sm smother it with it the seal underneath will be enough to keep the water out and that is a, a, a big cable tie and what I'm going to do is put that around the cables and around the bracket onto the um, onto the solar panel this will just keep the the cables tight against the side stop them flapping around in the wind I'll do that further down on the other other panel as well just tie them all down nice and tight and that was nearly the job done just in case of wiping up and that was it and then I went down to have a look at the panel to see what it looked like from the ground and yes you've guessed it didn't like it at all look at the height of that it's far too high might have been okay if I'd had the uni struts and the edges and I should have checked all this before I actually went ahead and did it but like a plonker I didn't so I took it all off again um, which uh, took ages getting those uni struts off because I'd also siliconed them down um, anyway I managed to get it all off and cleaned up and the holes that I drilled I just put like a blanking plate on there with some silicon with some Sikaflex and just it, it was only a, a 10 mil hole anyway so it soon covered that up so I used two of the original holes um, that I'd already drilled um, to put one panel down so it was just a case of remounting these in a different place getting the position right and then I put um, a sickle flex underneath each bracket around the hole as you can see here luckily enough where I'd put the brackets onto the uh, onto the solar panel they just fit in nicely in, inside those those uh, uh, grooves in the 
in the roof. I've just filled the hole up with Sikaflex as well and I've pushed the bolt through down through the hole and then I went inside and tied it, tightened it all up again inside, made sure there was so it was sealed properly. So this was both the panels on um, and now it's much better. You can hardly see it. Um, it's far better. And I'll just make provision inside the what the, the uh, cupboards inside so that I can get to the, the nuts if ever I need to take the uh, panels off the roof. Um, so that's it. So thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it.